she can be serious at time times, but she knows when to be fun and when to be uh, silly. And you can go talk to her easily. She was a teenager as well before. So, Long yeah. time ago, yeah. yeah. We talk about like just normal stuff. We don't really go in depth in just like, not like heart to hearts or anything. The first thing I can remember was at junior school and they showed us on those old fashioned, you know, the big TV screens they had. And we all sat there and watched a woman having a baby. And I was completely traumatised and it was just a complete bloodbath and a mess. Drugs kills, AIDS kills, pregnancy and abortion kills. It was very much designed to put the fear of death in you. In year five, we watched about a 10 minute video and that was it really at school. I've only ever had two lessons. One of them was a video comparing consent to having a cup of tea. And then the other was being shown pictures of STDs and how you should wear a condom to stop it. And I think also the assumption from your school that I felt was that, well, you know, it's a nice girl's school and they're not actually having sex and they're not doing these things. Well, yeah, they are actually, and they need to know about this stuff. Being able to talk about it, if you feel like talking about it and bringing it up and people not judging you for talking about it, I think if that can be achieved, that will, be, that will, that will work in society, I think. There's so much more to it and there's positive aspects of it like intimacy, forming a strong relationship with your partner and love, essentially. Like, I'm still learning about relationships myself now. You know, get me before, you know, so I... I'm not doing anything wrong in a relationship or like massively messing up or something, but at the same time getting me to take the conversation seriously. Yeah. I just think it needs to be inclusive, honest and fun, because otherwise people are just going to be living in fear and it's, it's not good to live in fear. <laughs> no.